Hello and welcome back everybody, I'm Wonpra Baron, and this is Crusader Kings 2 After the End Fan Folk. We are back as the Celestial Emperor Elton IV, and I want to use the start of this episode to clear some things up that I didn't really explain well enough, and I understand the confusion and the, you know, hey, this doesn't really make any sense argument there that were brought up in the comments. So my logic was, why I switched to Primogenitor, that the sons here, and that is the youngest son, who is a flamboyant schemer, and the oldest son, which is the bastard, of course, who is an intricate web weaver and a follower of the Way of the Cowl, are very much, you know, well-versed in court intrigue. And court intrigue is how the Emperor is ruling at the end of the day. Now, he does not really participate in that intrigue himself, which is why he's a bit excluded when it comes to these law changes, etc., etc. Um, but I think they pushed for Primogenitor to secure the personal line down here instead of it going to the brothers now the brothers by the way they all passed away already so it wasn't even a factor but i was not aware of this my logic went that both of these brothers so the oldest one and the youngest one wanted to fall to prince reuben at least by default because prince reuben is a scholarly theologian and the emperor title is primarily a theological one you know they they do some writings they say hey you know this is the new doctrine that you have to follow etc etc but the real rulers that is at least how Prince Turpin sees it, is the man behind it. The man that holds the power, the man that has the military. And I think Prince Turpin views himself as the lord when it comes to the topic of the military. So his idea is Primogenitor will secure it to his brother, who is a fairly weak ruler, and then he can pull the strings from behind. Galen goes a bit further. Galen, I believe, would like to be legitimized. And if he were ever to be legitimized, that would mean that he would be the primary heir all of a sudden. So the idea of primogenitor does, you know, it's definitely not something coming from the emperor himself, but I think he has been persuaded by his youngest and his oldest son. And the middle son, Prince Reuben, the now heir, was just like, you know what? Yeah, sure. And I do believe that Celestial Emperor Elton IV does have trust in Prince Reuben, primarily, well, because he is a scholarly theologian and a mystic, you know? He clearly knows what is good for the realm, so the way I, or, well, in the eyes of the Emperor he does, so the way I see it with the Primogenitor is that he essentially, you know, said, hey, you know what, my sons, you are correct, Prince Reuben would be a good lord. Whether or not Galen the Bastard will be legitimized, we will see that. You know, there, there are some strings that he could pull, but we will see if he does it. If not, then... He will also have to rule from the shadows after the death of his father, which, you know, will occur at some point. He's already 56, that is fairly old, you gotta admit it. Um, I will also, somebody pointed out that the first ruler was Norton. And, you know, I didn't mention this, or rather I glossed over it, because I was not actually sure who that is, but you can Google this, Emperor Norton. Uh, it was a real man, a real person, that claimed to be the Emperor of America, as well as the Protector of Mexico. Uh, he never really got any of that going, but he was so legendary that his, you know, um, apparently his burial was attended by about 10,000 people. Crazy stuff, you know, crazy, crazy stuff. So, quite literally, by the way, because he was a lunatic. But, what we are now in a position in is a position of strength. We have vassalized California, and you can see it right... Oh, you can't see it here yet. You will see it in a second. The income from tributaries is huge. Those tributaries don't really do much for us yet, but they will with the money that they give us and with the protection that we will get from them as well. Um, we are going to try to get some more tributaries in this episode, and then after that we will have to take a look at pushing claims. And that is going to be very difficult. You know, I originally thought that this right here means the does not have the trade figurehead emperor and prestige is greater or equal to 1000. I thought that this meant if I had 1000 prestige I could go on and declare war for a duchy, but that is not what it means. Uh, you can't do that. You just straight up can't declare war like this. So what we're going to do is we're going to wait. Eventually there's going to be claimants and if you push a claim for a kingdom and you're the Jura Emperor and you are the Emperor, uh, Empire and you are the Emperor, then you will get that new king or queen as your vassal. So I think that is the way to go here, but you know, we're not there yet. We are in a position where we kind of want to just take a look and make other fellas the tributary as well. So I think the first war, or the next war that we're going to have for the tributary status will be good old the valley. Because with the valley, we will actually be in a position where we will get so much money, I think we'll be set for, you know, the near future, at the very least. And we can do new ascetic teachings. We already did that. Uh, we already did that once. And if I'm not misremembering here, yeah, inspired teachings. It was an extraordinary work of uh, 
ascetic teachings. So the emperor, you know, just kind of withdraws, writes some more, and uh, has a good time all around. And we're going to take a look at the monetary income. Look at this stuff. Tribute is by far our biggest income source now, pushing us up to 6.95 income every single month. And that is just with one tributary here in Grand Francisco. If we can get this done for the valley as well, we will be in a tremendous position. Thanks to all of you, by the way, for the very positive feedback on this series. I hope that we're going to have a lot of fun in it. One way or another, we're writing some teachings while our sons are plotting. You... Oh, interesting. That is actually interesting because he was married to a no-name. We generated this lady. Ooh, the Princess of Gran Francisco. How could I not? How could I not, I ask you? Wait a minute. Just let me... Sapphire, you say. Do you have a claim by any chance? She does. Oh, this is good. This is exactly what we need to see here. That is <laughs> straight up the best option. All right, let's marry them. Did he just die? Like, straight up just right now? Wow. All right. You have produced the writings expected of the emperor. The prose is simple and careful, guiding willing minds towards enlightenment. While it's possible that there are nuggets of real wisdom scattered throughout the teachings, it's not clear that this particular work will be remembered 100 years hence. I can do better. Or good enough for now. You know what? I can do better. Um, I think that is definitely, you know, he is a very, very well-educated, zealous man. Didn't gain anything there, and he is still possessed, but, you know, what can, what can you do about it, really? Hello, dear The Valley, I would like to extort tribute from you as well. Then I will call all of you fellas in. As you should, you know, that's just how you win these wars. And then, of course, we shall create our usual army here. And hope that they will not be able actually to punish us. Jesus, this dude had 30. Are you kidding me? That's that's crazy. Melvin the Fearless. I believe that he was one of the warriors that came to us, you know, after they heard that we are uh, such a great empire uh, emperor. Damn, that, that dude is crazy. Alright, let's get this party started. Of course, I will honor my obligation. I accept your suggestion that they get married. Hello, Sapphire. How are you doing? Mm, now that would be really good if we could get that one done. Alright, there you go. Everybody assemble. Avengers, assemble. I'm gonna eat you down there. Destroy you real quick. And here comes our united force. Now stronger than the army of the valley. At least I hope that we can, you know, easily destroy them. As we destroyed Grand Francisco before. I think they're coming for a home. Sacramento. I mean, why wouldn't they, right? Is there a river here? Between, what is this? San Joaquin? A river flows between... Am I blind? Oh no. Ah, I see it. Is this one of those? I swear to god, this game has nothing but all river provinces, but I don't think this one has. Yeah, okay, from Tahoe. We will always be able to enter. I think I'll just withdraw. You know, I'm, I'm just going to wait for more units to arrive here. I was just standing there, menacing. I think with the armies that are now arriving, we can just beat them up in our capital. And that should be, you know, that should do the trick. And indeed it will. Let's do it. Boom. Galen, yet again, proving his prowess. And I do think that this leaves an impact. On our dear Emperor, you know, he just protected the Emperor himself. And it is Galen and Melvin, of course. Let's not forget Melvin. I mean, what a what an amazing character that dude is. Right, we won the siege for their capital. Excellent. I woke up this morning and realized that I've lost my feelings for my wife Seneca. Seneca is such a cool name. She's highly suspicious. Hey! Right, she was accused. Oh god, I remember this. I spared her. Ah, we are wife and husband. What need for love? We definitely moved away from, you know, the very emotional connection that we had to our wife. The winds over California. The seasons have lately uh, brought regular light ra rainfall of la <laughs> Okay, let's start that again. The seasons have lately brought regular light rainfall over large parts of California. We should spend this time stockpiling for the future. Make sure our traders are well stocked. We should put away surplus grain for the future. Or so it is so. All of the direct domain problems uh, with light rain or heavy rain will be more likely to withstand road-related hardships in the future. 
You know what? Yeah, sure. I don't want the draw to happen. You know, we all know the draw comes to California even these days. Who knows what, you know, after what, like 600, 700 additional years would happen. I think I can take this down with no issue. I'm not, you know, I mean, come on, man. I don't think he would do that. He's not lustful. For some time now, my son Galen has been overcome with a fatigue and troubled by a persistent cough. I've now been informed that the symptoms are due to pneumonia. Please heal him. He already got treated. Excellent symptom treatment. Very nice. Alright, the full province has been sieged down. Sacramento will not fall, I can tell you that much. Uh, and the war against the valley now incredibly easy. During the last few days, my son Prince Ruben has not been able to keep any drink of food down. It seems as if he's suffering from food poisoning. Call the court physician at once. Postate found. My sister. I don't feel that strongly about my sister. If I bring out the branding iron... If I throw her into the dungeon, I don't think he would kill. I mean, he is cruel and possessed. You know what? I'm gonna... Heads will mean that uh, we throw her into the dungeon. Tails means, uh, well, she burns. And it is Tails. Alright. Sorry to tell you, I'm now a Kinslayer. I know, I know. But at the end of the day, you know, you gotta teach them. You gotta teach them. What it means to go against the will of the Emperor. And at the end of the day, it's a huge issue for me as the Emperor if they go against me on this sort, you know, on this level. Unacceptable, if you if you ask me. Jeez, they're all sick. I don't I don't think we have a sickness in here, do we? No, we totally don't. Jesus, don't let him die. Turpin. I love that it's just these two. I mean he he's good again. Alright, okay. He is food poisoning. Jesus, what is going on in the family? Somebody trying to collectively get rid of us? Wow. Oh my. Um, That's interesting. Can I marry to somebody? Turpin. Oh my. What is going on in the background there? How does this happen? Matthew, sure. You you might hate me, but I think you'll come around. Give me some money. Um, So at this point, you gotta be asking, who killed this man? You know, they say food poisoning, etc, etc, but that's just the official story. Who of you did this? I don't... I know, I know it says this, but let's roleplay that it doesn't. Let's roleplay that he was murdered. All right, and we have a new tributary and California grows. There you go, big ass California. I think we're now like roughly the borders that the state of California has. I think a bit smaller because you don't have SoCal or you know, this part of SoCal. I don't even know, honestly, I, can't, I couldn't tell you where California ends. It's like right here, might be. Uh, one way or another, let's get rid of our troops. There you go. And with this being done, we no, gotta take a look at this. We now, because we now have a person that has a claim. I released you. We get a. We get a non-aggression pact. I'm not certain, but it doesn't matter all that much. You know, not right now, anyway. See, I wish I could push any of these claims, but I can't do anything about it. It is fairly disappointing. I will tell you that much. Uh, but we do still have a claimant, and she will be married to Turpin. There she is. We do. Ooh. Oh, this is so much quicker than I thought it would be. Don't have a truce. Claim grand. <laughs> All right, this is way <laughs> this is way quicker than I thought. Well, so the way it works, if you are an emperor and you have a kingdom that you can go via any claim, um, you can go ahead, push that claim, and then have a very good time as you will gain that kingdom as a vassal. So what we are going to do here is Prince Turpin's wife has a claim on the Kingdom of Grand Francisco and he is currently in hiding. Boom. You know, sucks to be you, buddy. Sucks to be you. And the tributaries will of course always come to my aid. Yeah, wow. 
No rest for the wicked of Gran Francisco. Man, with the speed that this is currently going, I'm I'm thinking, and I think this is actually not a bad idea. Because last time when we played Duke Levi the Liberator, we also talked about this. Where, you know, after we've done a project in one region of the world, in After the End, where we just use that same save in a new series and play somewhere else. For example, we could then go on, I don't know, to, you know, I've never played the Norse in this mod. We could play the Norse and do some, like, expeditions somewhere. But Jesus, this is uh, very fast-paced. I will honor my obligation. Honor my obligation and honor my obligation. Who could have, who could have known? They are honoring their obligation. All right, everybody gather up with me, please. Thank you very much. How many troops you got? 2.42k. They can't even best me as it, as it stands. Jesus. Is it because you got raided by them that you were in hiding? That's so... That it gotta sucks. Uh, that sucks for you, you know? Hmm. But man, I'm interested in seeing where this goes. Galen could definitely ask to be legitimized... The way this is currently playing out. My friend Wendell has really been letting himself go as of late. What was once a strong and energetic man has slowly become a weak-willed and sedentary glutton. Only excited about his next great feast. I need to warn him as politely as I can. You know, yeah, I love this dude. Don't let yourself go, mate. Oh, there you go. He did it. Wise choice. A wise choice indeed. You know, I don't know where the Grand Francisco and troops went. A wandering warrior was has requested an audience. All right, it's the same thing, and he is, jeez, a genius, dude. Does it get any better? No way. This is crazy. This episode is crazy. Let me tell you one thing. This episode is insane. Oh, my God. And now she's at my court. Oh, wow. All right. I mean, watch this, okay? Watch me get this done. Easy money. Oh, my goodness. Alright, if you're walking in there, I will of course walk in there too. There you go. Easy. This is very quick. The real question is just, will Galen be the one to, uh, you know, be legitimized? And maybe even become the new emperor? Our authority is clearly stronger than ever before, you know, at least in the last, like... 200 years. The rotting library in Sacramento. It started out as a strange smell and could have gone unnoticed for weeks had I not been down there recently. My guru teacher Wendell explains a hint of pride in his voice. This way, my lord, he says, leading me into the flooded room. The smell may, uh, makes my nose itch. These items are priceless. We have to save them. Absolutely. Yeah, that's... You would definitely spend money for books. I mean... Have you seen this emperor? He loves reading. Which is good, by the way. And you want to claim something? You know what? I don't actually care. Get the claim, I can just make you uh, get rid of it. Or, if nothing else, you will never be able to push it. Don't sweat it, fella. Boom. Now this is poetry. And if I'm not mistaken, I have a strong claimant on your title. Indeed, I have. <laughs> I did not see... This playthrough go this damn quickly. And we are threatening, it appears, but I think that is fine. And I must have let the... Uh, yeah, I, I have defensive packs on, apparently. See, I didn't even realize this, but I don't think it matters all that much. I mean... Are you seeing this stuff? Whose son are you? Ah, I see how it is. That's, that's okay. Don't worry about it too much. All right, let's get rid of everything. And then... Jesus claim the valley you know what what else do you want me to do claim the damn valley bro right you can get rid of yourself right over there i will re-raise you and then we will unite as well as getting the hawaiian guard on board wow this is uh, a quick blob we are going to be extraordinarily threatening after this of course which i think is fine what are they gonna do about it i mean let's not you know be ridiculous here what are they gonna do about it, really? Alright, everybody please attach to me yet again. We've done this spiel a number of times before. Look at how weak he is. God, I love it. Got him. <laughs> uh, text shifted bug obligation law in California. You know what? I'm actually okay with that. Yeah, sure. 
I don't, I don't really mind, you know. I'm I'm just a part of the intrigue. I'm not really anywhere, uh, you know, being able to do the intrigue myself. Yet another morning when I wake up feeling as tired as when I went to bed. I should do something about my listless mind. Perhaps I need to spend some time alone. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hello, my new regent. Landslide in Sacramento. Sacramento is suffering terribly from the heavy downpour. Now a heavy landslide has swept through the heart of the province, taking people and even buildings with it. The atmosphere is somber when my council presents me with, your, uh, with our options. We must try to save them. I cannot afford to lose the buildings. Captain Lipelio of Hawaiian Guard. Wow. Kelvin the Noble. No, I'm not letting any of those... We must try to save the people, absolutely. You know what? I would rather lose a building and lose any of the people here that are my good friends. Regency is over. We might turn out to be temperate, and we did not. Disappointing. Oh, that's okay. I will be real with you. I didn't think that the success would come... Who are you guys? Excuse you. I didn't think that the success would come this rapidly. You know, I'm not, I'm not one to complain here. Marshal Captain Lipelio told me about his ideas. I couldn't really understand what he was talking about, but he was adamant in his belief that this would improve the military. Sure. Alright, they just ran. Makes a lot, of th uh, a lot of sense if you think about it. Yeah, these raiders might get a bit annoying. For all intents and purposes, really. <laughs> uh, Guru Wendel burst into your chambers, flanked by several warriors dragging Mayor, of, uh, uh, Mayor Al of Hollister with them in chains. My Celestial Emperor, there are many concerned peasants claiming that their children are plagued by nightmares of this man. He's obviously a warlock. What shall, uh, what shall be done with him? Mayor Al of Hollister. He's not my... You know what? Burn him. I have no special relationship to him. It's fine. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, what can I say? Good God, dude. Good God, dude. What the hell can I say? Hey, buddy, do you want to become my vessel, by the way? No. Foreign culture. Oh, we're pretty... We're really close. Wait a minute. Oh, we would just become independent, though, because we don't have a direct connection to him. But wait a minute, yeah? Oh, wow. All right. Why does it not color in? Color in the damn mountains, I swear. I will tell you that this is pretty crazy. Hey, buddy, do you have a... I mean, we got an alliance and all, you know, but... Do we have a claim, or do we have any claimants? No? <laughs> Alright, it is time to vassalize SoCal. And, uh, you know, get the ball really rolling there. Now, it's interesting, because we have not been asked by Galen to legitimize him yet. Which is, honestly, very strange. I think he would do it. Tanaya. Build all this stuff up. We're now making mad money and are in an incredibly powerful position. Let's write some more. You know, somebody you can't stop. Uh, something. Uh, sometimes you can't stop writing. By the way, I didn't check this out last time at all. But we have two items: the crown of Los Angeles. Once the crown of the king of Los Angeles, it has now become a symbol of the emperor's authority over all of California. And then a famous and well-preserved treatise written by the first emperor, Meditations on Moloch. Ah, huh, interesting. Hello, SoCal. How do you feel about becoming a tributary state? Actually, I don't want you to be a tributary state. I just need you to be, uh, yeah, to, you know, be a tributary. Jesus, our, our threat is incredibly high. Do we have any... Nobody's banded together against us yet. All right. Don't know if they are going to band against us. Uh, band, uh, band together against us, because Jefferson and Bayer are, of course, friends. Let's make you a tributary. That will fade away, of course, once the, uh... I hate that I can click that button, but it actually doesn't do anything. Once we pass away, but... If I do it right now... I will get some more money until we pass away, and that's the point of it, you know? Of course you will honor your obligation. Of course you will. You had an engaging philosophical discussion with Count Howard during his visit to the Imperial Court. You have gained a new perspective on the theological questions we have been wrestling with recently. Only imperial thoughts should be inked, or I am inspired to write. How do I feel about him? My opinion of Howard is fairly high, you know what? I am inspired to write. 
Long the second wang from the defensive pact. Posing Elton Yudkov. Alright, good luck with that, buddy. Try to have me assassinate him. Make sure I wouldn't discover his plot to kill Baron Tupac. No way. He's killing Tupac again. Jack Cruel. Oh, I can't see his plot. Wait a minute. Shouldn't that be in the interface? It's an HIP. I yeah, know that much. You know. Oh, now it. There you go. E revealed, you son of a gun. And she. She's damn fine. Isn't she? Don't tell anybody I said that. Alright, let's take him out. The followers of Ogun assemble. The holy city of Miami has fallen to heretics from the mainland, and many are in the Santeria well, believe that it may never return. However, a knight from eastern Cuba has decided to challenge this. Gathering thousands of men under his banner, this knight has formed a group dedicated to fighting in the name of Oricus. They have named themselves after the famous warrior Orica, Ogun. Uh, and many believe that this new group will play a crucial rule, a role in the defense of Santeria faith from this point onwards. So they got a holy order. We're going to see a lot of those, I think. Oh, they're literally just going around beating up fellas. Inspiration strikes. We've seen this before, and that is moral authority right there. I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. Baron is love of Nutcrack. How do I feel about her husband? Eh. Eh. Oh. I was perhaps a bit too enthusiastic torturing Baroness Love. She did not survive this session. You know, we are very flawed, a very nasty man if you think about it. People aren't following us because they love us, that's for sure. Who are you? Oh, you are SoCal. I shall... Probably not actually beat you up, huh? Who are you? Lasky. How do you... Oh, it's a Merchant Republic. Oh, I want the Merchant Republic of Los Angeles, please, yes. Alright, let's go up there to feed him. Are you in another war? Yes. So, Kaylee and Holy War for Mojave. Winds from the south are bringing unusually heavy rains over most of California. We should probably keep an eye on the water levels in the region, one counselor suggests. There are many ways to tackle this, my lord. Make sure our traders... Eh... Like to withstand drought. Mm, if people keep an eye on our rivers and lakes, I think is the most. Yeah, let's let's be protected there. Let's not, you know, face any unnecessary issues. Oh, is this just desert? Oh, it's Las Vegas itself. Cool. I want another wandering warrior. Jesus, someone was born to fine. Oh. Wait a minute, what? Oh, I thought. All right, she she just. You know, premarital sex. Who doesn't know it? Oh, it's SoCal. Well, I mean, that's a welcome addition to our land. I think they just won that for some reason. Your vassal, Queen Sapphire, has expressed a dissatisfaction with your choice of advisors. She claims that she is more qualified than the majority of your council and that it, she would make an excellent upholder of ceremonies. It would be a controversial choice, however. Well, she is the wife of my heir and of my son. Uh, Mayor Matthews is performed statescraft, so Chancellor, yes. Yeah, she would be way better. What a brilliant idea, Sapphire. I don't know why we would say no to this. You know, we have a good relationship with her. We made her to what she is. Makes a lot of sense if you ask me. And uh, let's hunt actually some more apostates. That's definitely, like, in the idea of the Emperor. And you know what? I'm gonna get rid of this ambition. Somebody pointed out as well, if you're trying to reject cruelty, you can't be cruel. But I don't think... I don't think you will ever stop being cruel. I'll be, I'll be honest with you. No, no, no. I would rather be ambitionless than... And this. It's just, you know. He's not a good man. He's a very inspired writer, very, very intelligent, but that's all it is. Pioneer kings, the very heartlands of Mormonism, are under siege by infidels. Desperate Mormon lords and ladies have persuaded His Holiness, President Mordecai, to declare his intention of forging a great and righteous alliance to expel the heathens in the name of Angel Moroni. Moron. Uh, this signals a new era of large scale ho Mormon holy wars, the expeditions. And then they have their own holy order as well. Good job. No, but it makes you happy. Go up there, deal with them yet again. Expedition for SoCal. Oh. We propose that Prince Opal of Jefferson. They're going for all of SoCal, huh? Can't let that happen. And Galen the Bastard marry. 
Yes. Absolutely. Mayor Marlon of Santee was, uh, is now my prisoner, I mean. I want to finish this war ASAP because they are coming for SoCal. And I'm actually not in favor of this. So, the way I see it, yes. Yeah, they don't actually have any interest in this. It's just you have some Mormons down there. There's no holy site or anything that they would be protecting down there. Strange. Oh, very, very strange. I hope I can immediately like, turn around and protect them as soon as they become our tributaries here. 88%. Definitely do not want them to lose this. Wait, who just occupied this? Get out of here, Mormons. I swear to God. No, no, stop this. You damn bastards. Using my troops to assault. Are you crazy? I did not mean to do that. The winds of California yet again. Um, I mean, we already have this. Make our traders, uh, sh make sure our traders are well stocked. There's a lot of rain. No matter how many times I try to point out the virtues of Marshall Lepelio, my wife Seneca won't listen. Cannot take, no, you are, you know what? No matter what you say, I will not make a friend, Marshall. Absolutely not. This person is clearly not right in the head. How dare you. Okay, get out of my land. My new land. No defensive pact anymore, it appears. 96%. Come on, dude. Just accept. I'm actually... I think I made a mistake here. It depends on whether we can secure them afterwards. Um, Kingdom of the Valley. Let's expose them. Sure. No, we don't need to intimidate her. That's a wrap. But now the question is, um, offer to join war. There you go, that's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm indeed talking about. But we will do this in the next episode. SoCal will be defended in the name of California. Too bad our name just got smaller. Damn! What an episode. We are back. I mean, we are powerful. <laughs> that's crazy. That is crazy how easy that was. You know, the Scheming Brothers win yet again, but Prince Turpin appears to be the one who gets everything. What are those? I got claims on everything? Why did they give me these claims? I mean, I can't revoke them, but what? Since we have a claim on our vassals will not object. What? We could change it to vice royalties and everything, but we'll have to take a look at this later in the next episode. I will see you later, alligator. Oh, is uh, wait a minute. Oh no, he's gone. Hugh Levi is dead. Well, how did he? How did he die? Oh he, no, he actually still lives, but he now lives in. Yeah, Tevye. So that is Tevye's old land. I will see you in the next episode later, alligator.